Instrumentation Part B When planning or designing your research, you need to select a suitable existing instrument for your research or you need to design one. You may be selecting or designing a content assessment test or a questionnaire or other test. The following guidelines can help you ensure the quality of your measurement and of the data collected for your study. How do you select an existing instrument? Conduct research to find instruments that may be suitable to measure your topic variables. Your methods and instruments must be well matched to your research questions. You must select and or develop valid, reliable instruments that are appropriate for your study participants. You must determine what types of analysis would best respond to your research questions. The type of analysis will help you to determine the choice or development of instrument and the data that will be collected. Locate instrument reviews of the candidates to narrow the suitability for your purposes, for example. Is it replicable in another study? Is it in print? Does it meet university standards for validation? And so on. Find a research study article in the library that validates the chosen instrument. When using an existing instrument, ask yourself, do I have permission to use this instrument? How should I cite or acknowledge it? Most published instruments are commercially owned and available through test publishers. All measurement tools require permission to use. There are some exceptions, such as tools through RAND Healthcare. Ask yourself, when developing or modifying an instrument, how many and what types of items do I need to include in my instrument, for example? Single choice, multiple choice, open-ended? What is the most appropriate measurement scale for my items, for example? Nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio? Can I group items on my instrument into subscales to better respond to my research questions? When pilot testing a new or modified instrument, ask yourself, how do I ensure that the instrument is measuring what it intends to measure accurately and consistently? Instrument validity and reliability testing. Understanding and testing validity. Validity refers to the degree to which an instrument accurately measures what it intends to measure. There are three common types of validity for researchers and evaluators to consider. Content validity. Content validity indicates the extent to which items adequately measure or represent the content of the property or trait that the researcher wishes to measure. If your instrument is new, you will need an expert in your subject to review your instrument to assess content validity in relation to the area or field you are studying. Construct validity. Construct validity indicates the extent to which a measurement method accurately represents a construct, for example, a latent variable or phenomena that can't be measured directly, such as a person's attitude or belief, and produces an observation distinct from that which is produced by a measure of another construct. Common methods to assess construct validity include but are not limited to factor analysis, correlation tests, and item response theory models, including RASH model. Criterion validity. Criterion-related validity indicates the extent to which the instrument scores correlate with an external criterion, that is, usually another measurement from a different instrument, either at present, concurrent validity, or in the future, predictive validity. A common measurement of this type of validity is the correlation coefficient between two measures. Understanding and testing reliability. Reliability refers to the degree to which an instrument yields consistent results. Common measures of reliability include Internal consistency reliability Internal consistency reliability looks at the consistency of the score of individual items on an instrument with the scores of a set of items or subscale, which typically consists of several items to measure a single construct. Cronbach's alpha is one of the most common methods for checking internal consistency reliability. Group variability, score reliability, number of items, sample sizes, and difficulty level of the instrument also can impact the Cronbach's alpha value. Test-retest reliability. Test-retest measures the correlation between scores from one administration of an instrument to another, usually within an interval of two to three weeks. Unlike pre-post tests, no treatment occurs between the first and second administrations of the instrument in order to test-retest reliability. A similar type of reliability called alternate forms involves using slightly different forms or versions of an instrument to see if different versions yield consistent results. Inter-rater reliability. Inter-rater reliability checks the degree of agreement among raters, that is, those completing items on an instrument. Common situations where more than one rater is involved may occur when more than one person conducts classroom observations, 
uses an observation protocol or scores an open-ended test using a rubric or other standard protocol. Kappa statistics, correlation coefficients, and intraclass correlation ICC, coefficient are some of the commonly reported measures of inter-rater reliability, where possibly use instruments already approved. Developing a valid and reliable instrument usually requires multiple replications of piloting and testing, which can be costly and time-consuming. Therefore, when available, use already established valid and reliable instruments, such as those published in peer-reviewed journal articles. Following these tips will help you to select or design a reliable research instrument. If you like this video, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.